Welcome to Morning Prayer on Saturday the 6th of June. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, you are my God. Eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you and is in, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand will hold me fast. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm this morning is Psalm 147. Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the broken heart and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. Who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. Who makes the grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nations. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from Joshua chapter 6. Now Jericho was shut up inside and out because of the Israelites. No one came out and no one went in. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have handed Jericho over to you, along with its king and soldiers. You shall march around the city, all the warriors circling the city once. Thus you shall do for six days, with seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, the priests blowing the trumpets. When they make a long blast with the ram's horn, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and all the people shall charge straight ahead. So Joshua son of Nun summoned the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and have seven priests carry seven trumpets of ram's horns in front of the Ark of the Lord. To the people he said, Go forward and march around the city. Have the armed men pass on before the Ark of the Lord. As Joshua had commanded the people, 
the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Lord went forward blowing the trumpets with the ark of the covenant of the Lord following them and the armed men went before the priests who blew the trumpets and the rear guard came after the ark while the trumpets blew continually to the people Joshua gave this command you shall not shout or let your voice be heard nor shall you utter a word until the day I tell you to shout then you shall shout so the ark of the Lord went round the city circling it once and they came into the camp and spent the night in the camp then Joshua rose early in the morning and the priests took up the ark of the Lord the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord passed on blowing the trumpets continually the armed men went before them and the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord while the trumpets blew continually on the second day they marched around the city once and then returned to the camp they did this for six days on the seventh day they rose early at dawn and marched around the city in the same manner seven times it was only on that day that they marched around the city seven times and at the seventh time when the priests had blown the trumpets Joshua said to the people shout for the Lord has given you the city the city and all that is in it shall be devoted to the Lord for destruction only Rahab the prostitute and all who are with her in her house shall live because she hid the messengers we sent as for you keep away from the things devoted to destruction so as not to covet and take any of the devoted things and make the camp of Israel an object for destruction bringing trouble upon it but all silver and gold and vessels of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord they shall go to the treasury of the Lord so the people shouted and the trumpets were blown as soon as the people heard the sound of the trumpets they raised a great shout and the wall fell down flat so the people charged straight ahead into the city and captured it well fall of Jericho is one of those uh, moments in Old Testament history that sticks in the mind mm. it's one of those Bible stories one of those stories that always uh, features in uh, the Old Testament Bible story books for children as well I think uh, it's a story that for those of us who went to Sunday school as children uh, will be familiar even from from then but even the children's books don't actually have the same amount of repetition <laughs> as happens in the text of the Bible itself yes uh, so the the instructions are repeated and repeated and repeated as to exactly what will happen Mm. Yes, I, I was struck by uh, the the way the description works as well. That uh, the narrator seems to be drawing our attention first to the priests with the trumpets, and then saying, "In front of them are the warriors, and behind them are the people." But starting with where the priests are, and more importantly, perhaps where the Ark of the Covenant is, the priests and the horns are signalling the presence of the Ark of the Covenant so and the whole story seems to be emphasising this isn't something that the people did it's a victory that God accomplished mm. and it's a very stylized way of describing it yes and of course they don't forget Rahab and the service she did to the two spies whom she hid uh, from the men who were looking for them. Yes. Mm. And interestingly, she's um, been instructed to wait for them, having put the cord out of her window, which is in the wall. So there's very stylized description saying the wall fell flat. Shouldn't be taken to understand that the wall, the whole of the all wall. around, fell flat, but that uh, somewhere there was a breach into the city and. Uh, it, it led to the conquest of the, the whole city. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the uh, uh, next part of our reading from Isaiah 66. Thus says, says our, our God, God, I will, will comfort you. you. You shall see and, and your heart shall, shall rejoice. rejoice. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her, says the Lord. Rejoice with her in joy and you all you who mourn over her 
that you may drink deeply with delight from her consoling breast. For thus says our God, you shall be nursed and carried on her arm. As a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. You shall flourish like the grass of the field. Yes. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Thus, Thus says our God, I will, I will comfort, comfort you. you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. And we continue our New Testament readings in Luke's Gospel, Luke 10, 17. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At the same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then. Turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but didn't see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Mm. So exciting for the 70 who'd gone out, presumably with some trepidation, uh, Jesus had sent them ahead to the places where he was subsequently going to, to go in a way to prepare the way, but he'd given them instructions about what they were to do. And they came back so excited, Lord, Lord, it happened, just as you said. Mm. Even the demons submit to us. They were really <laughs> so excited and overjoyed. And Jesus is clearly overjoyed as well. At the same hour, Jesus rejoiced in, in the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And uh, he's, he's really glad to see what's happened. Mm. Um, so he does have that, that caution now. Just keep focused on that your names are written uh, yes. in heaven. Yeah, it's going to be so exciting to see um, uh, demons submitting to them and presumed people being healed and all these sorts of things. And so easy to uh, see all that was happening and get excited about what was happening. and. Uh, um, uh, what had God had done through them and so on but forget the bigger picture that their names are written in heaven mm. our names are written in heaven uh, that's the main thing and then yes it's wonderful that uh, God is doing these things there's a big 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 picture to see here mm. Mm. and then he turns to the disciples and says this thing about if the prophets and the kings, all those people in the past, the great and the good, wanted to see what you're seeing, uh, mm. but you're the ones who are seeing the, 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 the turning point in the history of what God is doing with, with his creation. Mm. Yeah. And presumably here by infants, he, he does sort of mean the disciples, doesn't he, that they're not uh, the best educated, not, or not necessarily the most intelligent. I mean, saying they're not intelligent but they're not the great and the good uh, they're just simple people uh, that God has revealed this to them and the great and the good and the supremely intelligent equally need a revelation from God about what uh, God's purposes are and then they can help us to see things in uh, even more refinement but they need that revelation to get get started and then use their intelli God given intelligence yes. to help others see so that we're reliant on God's wisdom and not just on our cleverness mm. 
your salvation is near to those that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. And the Benedictus, shine on us, O God, who dwell in darkness, and, and guide, guide us, us into, into the, the way, way of peace. peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and, and to, to the, the son and, and to, to the holy spirit, spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall, shall be forever amen. amen shine on us O god who dwell in, in darkness, darkness and, and guide us into, into the way of peace let us pray. Bring the screen down. There we go. Heavenly Father, we do uh, pray for the leaders of the world and the need for good leadership in all the nations. We bring before you the situation in places like Brazil, where the president seems to be hiding himself away from the realities of what is going on and so the infection rate and the death rate are continuing to rise. Heavenly Father, we pray for a, a leadership that is able to uh, tell the truth to people, who is able to express uncertainties when uh, there are things that are not known, but is able nonetheless to command the support of the populace. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will build up uh, leadership around our world. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. We have just uh, uh, said the words uh, that Zechariah spoke. Um, In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And Lord, we know that you are compassionate and we pray that we might see, uh, we know that the dawn has broken as Jesus uh, came into the world uh, to bring your light and life to all people. The Lord, we sometimes lose sight of what you have done. So we pray, Lord, that we might see that light. And we pray, Lord, for your light to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord, we pray that we and all people Lord and particularly we think of those who are uh, suffering uh, illness uh, suffering fear and loneliness might know your light shining into their lives dispelling the darkness help us Lord Jesus to look to you and to see your light shining in the darkness Amen Amen and Heavenly Father, as we read the Gospel reading and uh, learn afresh about the joy of the 70 as they returned and the responding joy of Jesus, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would give us joy, that you would guide us, that we might be faithful in the things that we uh, do, that we might be walking always in your ways. Father, we pray that by your work in us, we might also bring uh, ongoing joy into the heart of Jesus and we pray that you would keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and also 
help us to really focus on our names being written in your book in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord of Majesty, Trinity of love and power, accept and make holy all that we are, all that we have, and all that we offer you. Keep us firm in our faith and strong in your service, creating us a new heart that we may respond to your great mercy one God, our Saviour, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.